All right, what's going on guys? Uh, back at it again with the 96 Ranger. Uh, since my last video, I've done a little bit of, a little bit more work to it. Uh, you guys, I've been commenting to some of you guys. Uh, so this is the, kind of the follow up bed. Uh, still the same truck. It's got a 5.0 in it now. I added a two inch level kit yesterday to the front uh, with some nice stainless steel extended brake lines because my other ones were stretching pretty bad so now it sits level uh, especially with the with the v8 in it and yes it is a two-wheel drive and it is lifted um, but anyways like i said i put a 5.0 in it uh, actually everything i had a 1999 mercury mountaineer which is also a Ford Explorer. Uh, that was my donor vehicle. So this entire dash, the whole dash, the instrument cluster, the steering wheel, which I need to get cruise control buttons for so I can have cruise control. Uh, the brake pedal and brake pedal bracket and all that uh, are from the Mountaineer. Everything bolts up. Literally everything is in the exact same position. Uh, bolts and plugs and all that stuff so i'll uh show you guys under the hood so here it is uh, like i said i had an entire donor vehicle which made this extremely easy uh i've still got a few more small things to work out but for the most part it's it's done uh the radiator is actually for a four liter the five liter radiator at the bottom down here uh, is too wide to go between the frame so i ended up doing some research and uh picked up a four liter radiator new one i think it was like 150 bucks brand new uh does a good job i don't have my fan on here yet i'm still waiting on the harness for it uh, i'm just gonna run an electric fan because as you can see the, the clearance there's not very much so uh training cooler lines those were kind of uh took a little bit of head scratching and thinking to do to get those hooked up uh the ac compressor to run ac i've still got to pull uh, the line off of the uh two three motor uh it's the same compressor and everything i've just got to Get the, get the different line to hook up to the condenser up there. Uh, let's see. This is the master cylinder from the Explorer, which has the plugs and everything in it for the ABS, which I'm not using. But if you don't have this module, your speedometer will not work. Not sure why that is, but that's just how it is. Um, of course, the fuse panel and everything, the whole engine wiring harness is out of the five liter, but I mean, everything goes pretty much in the same spot. The windshield washer uh, motor is the same, but the plug is different. So you can actually take, if you take and pry these little tabs right here, it goes all the way around. You can actually just pull this whole plastic piece off, which is what I did. Pull it off the, uh, for the two, three, and then I just put this one on from the five liter. And that way the plug will go in there. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm going to have cruise control once I get the buttons. Uh, this is the cruise control module here. So, yeah, I uh, ordered the kit from Transdapt uh, for the motor mounts down there. Obviously, you probably can't see them, but they work pretty good. Uh, took a little finagling and a few choice words to get them to act right, but they do work uh the transmission is also obviously out of the five liter or out of the mountaineer uh, like i said everything works my dash is lit up like a christmas tree for the abs and check engine and all that but shifter used to go and I'm gonna build me a center console right here uh, this plug 
is from the Mountaineer. Uh, went to the back half of the, for the AC controls and stuff. Obviously, don't need that. So, give you guys the exhaust clip. It's cold, so it's kind of sizing kind of high. running the factory 2.3 liter pump the fuel pump and this is a returnless system so I've actually just got the let me see if I can show you guys it's kind of hard to show you but there's the factory uh, two three feed line plugged straight into the five liter uh, fuel line and I don't have any of the evap or anything like that on here uh, no issues I mean it, it I don't I don't, I haven't had, had an issue yet. So, uh, so I, yeah, I don't have a return fuel system, but the two, three pump works very well. It doesn't lack on power or anything or cut out. <clears throat> so that's good. Uh, let's see, let me get under here. So the exhaust, uh, the cats are cut, it goes to a Y. Then I have a, just a Magnaflow muffler, and then another Y, and then out the back. Uh, the drive shaft. The drive shaft is out of the 2.3. I actually ended up shortening this piece. Uh, took, I think I took two inches out of the stub shaft. And where it goes into the transmission, I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, right there. That part is for the from the two three is actually too small. It's it won't it won't seal correctly. So I actually took and cut the uh, yoke end off of the five liter drive shaft and welded it to the two three drive shaft after I cut it off and it works. It works very well. Sorry for the focus. Uh, of course, the rear ends out of the Mountaineer as well. Eight point eight. 373 is limited slip and it does work so uh that's about it really if you guys have any questions or anything just uh let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as i can uh I'm trying to think of okay yeah the oil filter so you have to relocate the oil filter which i ended up doing mine right here because I couldn't find anywhere else to do it. Uh, so, I mean, it works good. It's protected. This is a pretty beefy plate right here. I've actually hit it a couple times uh, off-road and stuff, and it, I've never had it bend or anything, so I figure it's pretty well protected, and I'm eventually gonna put a skid plate on my bumper right here. Uh, but there's the lines right there, and then it's kind of hard to get you guys up in there. But you get the general idea. And, oh, and the power steering line, the pressure line for the power steering. Uh, the two three line will work, but it's it's stretched pretty good. Like I don't like it. It it works, but it's just temporary for now. Uh, as you can see, I've actually had a leak, and yes, that is JB Weld. I know I'm not proud of it. Uh, but it's actually now coming out of the top right here. So I'm gonna have to get a line made uh, or something Because I don't I'm not a big fan of that uh, And this is the GTP this, this motor does have the GTP heads and GT40 intake and all that so uh, Yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep posting some more videos as I make some progress on it But uh, that's pretty much it Thanks for watching, guys.